One of the great things about living in this area is the natural beauty that surrounds us. The Lula Lake area is one such spot that's been preserved for future generations to enjoy, and it also provides an excellent backdrop for live entertainment. So, joining us today are Mike Pollock of the Lula Lake Land Trust and Michael Gray of River City Sessions, and they're going to tell us what they have in store for all of us. So I want to start with you. Like, let's talk about Lula Lake Land Trust in general. Now, I know what it is. I know there's some great hiking one, two, one weekend a month, but not everybody knows about it. So let's go ahead and start. How long has it been in existence, and what is its purpose? Well, Beth, Lula Lake has been around since 1994. Um, most people know the core preserve of Lula Lake, which is 730 acres, and that's where the concert's going to be on Friday night. But since 1994, we've preserved uh, 8,000 acres on the top of Lookout Mountain. We've built 60 miles of recreational trails, and we have ongoing uh, education programs for a lot of schools in the Chattanooga region. And I know you've had a trouble of it exploding as far as popularity after we've been written up as the best, you know, outdoor city ever. And I know that's uh, getting reined in just a bit. So how often is it open? We are open on the first and last weekends of every month right now, okay. Saturday uh, 9 until 3.30 okay. and Sunday 12 until 3.30. The gate closes at 3.30, but we let people stay right up until about 5 o'clock. I see. Remember that. Don't be jumping the gates. Let's talk to you, Michael, about, and I don't want to leave you out. This is intern Haley. Yes. And she's here from Belmont University. Yes. Uh, interning with Michael. So tell me about River City Sessions and this once a, once, ooh, once a month, let me just get it out, um, music session that everyone can enjoy, and it's this Friday. So. It's this Friday. Uh, River City Sessions is a once a month local and regional showcase of music and writers. We have storytelling and poetry that we mix in. Mm -hmm. And every year, we, well, for four years now, we've coupled with Lula Lake in June as a part of their fundraiser and a part of us getting to go to a pretty place for an outside concert. It's a perfect marriage, I think, because this music works so well. And it will be this Friday? It will be this Friday. Gates open at 4.30. Okay. And we'll have uh, Mountain Creek House Fire, a local duo, will be down next to the, the lake. Okay. So the people that want to walk from the parking lot down to the lake mm -hmm. can, uh, can listen to the buskers. Yep. Li wear your comfortable shoes. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> wear some comfortable shoes. And tell me what type, so it'll be two areas of music. There'll be two areas of music, but they won't be going on simultaneously. Okay. So you can catch both. Okay. Around 6.30, 7 o'clock, we'll start up on the main stage. Okay. With another local duo, Magic Birds. And Magic Birds will perform for about 30 to 45 minutes, and I'll come on and do a storytelling. All right. And then we have a band from Knoxville, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Called Red Shoes and Rosin. Oh, sounds great. And a backstory on them Red Shoes and Rosin was the first band that we had when we were broadcast six years ago. Nice, nice. So it opens, gates open at 4 30. It lasts until 9 30. Wear comfortable shoes. Folks can bring a picnic blanket, blankets, chairs. chairs? We do have um, beverages. We have uh, beer, wine, mm -hmm. soft drinks. We also have uh, pizza from Loopy's mm -hmm. as well as Clumpy's ice cream. Well, again, it's a beautiful combo preserving music, preserving poetry, mm -hmm. preserving, helping to preserve Lula Lake Land Trust. And oh, do folks need to get tickets? Is it free? Tickets are available on the Lula Lake website, okay. lulalake.org. And I don't think they're anywhere else, but we will have a number of uh, tickets available if you don't choose to purchase them on the Okay. On the website. Well, don't miss it. And speaking of being outside and in nature, Nature also means ticks, and so Jess right now is with CHI Memorial telling us, I don't know, how we should take care of it or what we should be afraid of. 